It's Demilly, and in this episode, we're going to be doing our first oil study painting. I wanted to find something relatively easy to use for the first study. Doing this study was to have a look at proportions as well as depth. So I was really studying highlights and shadows and things like that to be able to bring the object to life. Before we start our oil painting study, we're just going to clean up, enjoy this breakfast. Oh my goodness, I love cooking breakfast so much. And just that first cup of coffee in the morning. Coffee, 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 coffee. <gasps> Come on. Coffee on the shirt, lad. At a change. So before I get to this painting, I actually wanted to snap a couple photos off of my last YouTube video to do a little bit of promo over on my Instagram. So I was basically just looking through the video and taking screenshots of some of the frames that I thought could make for good photos. I like to use this app called Preview and basically what it does is help me to lay out my next photos. Maybe if I'm going with a current theme or something like that, it just helps me to get a better visual for the aesthetic of my page. Let's look for something to paint. Let's see what we find. I really wanna do the nose, nose painting oil. That fits the background look. Okay, so I learned when you're like trying to do proportions to basically like block out the negative space. Like you try to get the scale for whatever it is that you're drawing, like keep it really loose. I'm gonna try to get like the outline of the jar. All right, so working a little bit more here on the reference. After this, I have to head to work for a half day and then I'm gonna come back and finish up the sketch. All right. I don't think I'm gonna add too, too much to the draft, but what I do wanna add is maybe some little indicators of the highlight points, the shadows, things like that. When you draw, very, very loose. This is broken up. This jar in particular is just, I would say fantastic for a beginner like myself and anybody else looking to kind of create oil studies. By the way, I just found this on Pinterest. Oh gosh. Oh no. Everything's tastefully crispy. I can do it. I've eaten in way shorter times. Trust. Okay, remplir to fill up. Yeah. We have gros and we have maigre. This okay. Girl, is he big? Yeah, yeah. Uh, my last session just canceled, so that means we're gonna set up here. Get this show on the road, baby. All right, so I'm starting my painting here. I picked up a pack of Windsor & Newton oil paints from Michaels. I just wanted to get a small pack to get a feel for oil paints themselves because this is a completely different medium for me. The very first painting I made with oils was a portrait, but this is my first intentional study. And in this study, I really wanted to tackle proportion as well as depth. So I really wanted to focus on shadows and highlights to make the object stand out and show that depth and not paying too too much attention to the color accuracy although that is something that i wanted to achieve as well however the biggest takeaway i would say from this study is definitely taking your time with every individual section and analyzing why the light is hitting that way in the first place Ooh, 
This warm honey color is like kind of a mix of green. What I would really suggest when you start doing studies is to isolate a specific skill that you are trying to improve. So for me personally, and I'm going to say it for the third time because I just think it's so important, is to be intentional. And so for me, that was, again, the depth was like the biggest thing. I think proportion came second because these are the things that I am slowly trying to integrate in my own artwork and my own art process and the visions that I see for my art. So if I know that I'm lacking like a specific thing, I will intentionally tackle it to be able to better my future painting. Start with one thing, whether that be understand your color palette, color combinations, or mixing colors. If you're looking at proportions specifically, if you are studying landscapes, like isolate what it is that you want to learn and tackle it that way. All right, so this is what we have so far. Honestly, when I was doing it, I was kind of like, I don't know, when you're close up, it doesn't make sense. And mind you, it's a little bit flat. I still have to add in some highlights and things like that. Overall, I'm pretty happy with it. Like when you back up, you can see the depth going on, the reflection. I was kind of like doubting having the colors here in this way, but I think that actually looks pretty neat. Oh my gosh, sorry. I just adjusted the light and look how nice this looks. Just looks so warm. Yeah, like that. Oh. Like, I feel like, I don't know if, if you guys can see where I'm feeling what I'm feeling. Also, ew. I'm loving the depth right there. I know it's kind of wonky, like this side's like a little eh, whatever, but it's just like the overall feeling. Ooh, we got something fun going on here. But I think we're just gonna continue with some colors in here and liven it up. I think the majority of what I wanted to do got done and now we're playing. This is gonna be really annoying to get off. I'm now gonna go clean up, I'm gonna do some reading, chilling, take a shower. I hope you have a splendid day, splendid week, and I'll see you in the next video.